So in this video, we're going to calculate the length of an unknown side. And we're going to follow the exact same process as example one, except we're going to do what's called a switch. And we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to that point. So starting with step one, we're going to label the sides. Opposite our right angle is hypotenuse. Opposite our marked angle is opposite. And our X here is adjacent to the marked angle. And we're going to cancel out the H because it doesn't have any numbers or pronumerals next to it. We're using O and A. And when we look at our acronym, you'll notice that O and A is at the very end. So we're going to use the last three letters of our acronym. Okay, so what does the T stand for? T stands for tangent. We just write the first three letters. We write tan. And next to tan, we write our angle, 55.9 degrees equals, and then our vinculum bar for our fraction. What goes at the top and what goes at the bottom? Well, when we follow the order of TOA, O comes next, so it goes at the top, and A comes second. All right, so we're going to replace the O and the A. The O will be replaced with 13.1, and the A will be replaced with the pronumeral X. All right, now when you get a pronumeral for, a, for the denominator at the bottom of the fraction, then you do what's called a switch. And switch means we're going to switch the x with the tan 55.9. So the x is going to come on the left side, and the tan 55.9 will go below on the fraction. And then we're going to grab our calculator, and we're going to work it out. So, because it's a fraction, we're just going to use divide. 13.1 divide tan 55.9. Tan 55.9 equals, and we want to do it to one decimal place, so we're going to give it 8.9. X equals 8.9. It's in centimeters, so 8.9 centimeters. Let's now move on to question B. Following the same process, we're going to label the sides. So opposite the right angle is hypotenuse. Opposite our marked angle is O for opposite. And the final angle is A for adjacent, meaning next to the marked angle. We're going to cancel out the O because there's no numbers or pronumerals next to it. So we're only using A and H. And we can see A and H on our acronym. It's in the middle. C A H. All right, so C stands for cosine or cos. Next to our cos, we write our angle 61 degrees, 9 minutes, and 12 seconds. Equals, then the vinculum bar. A comes next and H last. So A is 19, that goes at the top. H is last, the Y goes at the bottom. Once again, if the denominator is a pronumeral, you do what's called a switch. You switch the Y with the cos 61 degrees, 9 minutes, 12 seconds. So Y comes on the left side, and our angle with the cos comes to the bottom. 61 degrees, 9 minutes, 12 seconds. And we'll bring up our calculator and clear it. And because it's a fraction, we're just going to use division. 19 divide cos 61 degrees, 9 minutes, 12 seconds equals. And this comes out to 39, and we want to do it to one decimal place. So we'll round it up, 39.4. And this is in meters, so our solution needs to be in meters. And that concludes example two.